In this video, we're going to learn about Booleans in Python. So Booleans are a type that's built into Python. A Boolean value can be either true or false. So for example, we could have x is equal to true and y is equal to false. And both of these are Boolean values. We can check this using the type function. So we could have print type x and print type y. And type is going to give us the type of X and Y, and we'll output those types. If we save our program and run it, we'll get that both X and Y are Boolean values. That's what class bool means. Boolean values are extremely common in computer programming. Often expressions will evaluate to a Boolean or functions will return a Boolean. Let's go over some examples. So for example, we could have the expression three is greater than five. And we'll store the result of this expression into the variable result. The result of this expression is going to be either true or false. Three is either greater than five or it's not. We'll output result. We'll have here print result colon and we'll have result. And if we save our program and run it, we'll get the result is false, which makes sense because three is not greater than five. So this greater than operator here is what's called a comparison operator. There are other comparison operators, like for example, three is less than five. This is the comparison operator less than. If we save the program now and run it, we'll get the result is true because three is less than five. There are other types of operators which produce a Boolean value as a result. For example, the logical operators so we could have results is equal to, and we'll have true or false. So or is a logical operator. The operator is going to produce the value true if either of the operands here are true. So if we output the result here, we expect it to be true. So we'll save the program and run it. And we do get that the result is true. There's also the membership operators that produce Boolean values. So for example, we could have result is equal to five is in the list one, two, three. This is a membership operator. It's going to produce the value true if five is in the list. Five is not in this list, so we'll expect the result to be false. If we save the program and run it, we do get that the result is false the identity operators will also return Boolean values. So here, if we have result is equal to one is one, this is an identity operator. It's checking to see if these two objects here are the same, and they are. One is the same object as one in Python. If we output the result here with print result and result, and save the program and run it, we'll get that the result is true. I'll post links in the video description covering the logical comparison membership and identity operators in more detail. Boolean values are often used as part of if statements and while loops in Python. So for example, let's say we want some code to only execute if some condition is true. We could check that condition using an if statement. We could have here, a is equal to two and b is equal to three. And if a is less than or equal to b, then we want to execute the code print a is less than or equal to b. Otherwise, we'll have an else branch and we'll have else output with print a is greater than b. So here we're using an if statement with this expression we call a condition. We're checking to see if a is less than or equal to b. And if this condition is true, then this code is going to execute. Otherwise, this code is going to execute. If we save the program and run it, right now we'll get A is less than or equal to B because A is two and B is three. If we changed A though and made A five, then if we save the program and run it, we'll get A is greater than B. So Boolean values are often key to determining how our program is going to execute with what's called a control structure. 
if statements are a type of decision control structure that decides which code to execute. There are also loop control structures which decide how many times to execute a piece of code. So for example, in Python, we have while loops, which also have a Boolean condition. So we could have here, let's say A is two again, and we'll have while A is less than or equal to B, let's output A with print A, and we'll add one to A with A is equal to A plus one. So here, this loop is going to continue executing this block of code here, so long as A is less than or equal to B. A is initially two, which is less than or equal to three. So initially, this condition is going to be true, this block of code is going to execute, and we'll output A being two. Then we'll add one to A, and A will be three. Then this condition will be checked again. Three is still less than or equal to three. So this code is going to execute again, we'll output A, which is now three, we'll add one to A, A will then be four, then this condition will no longer be true, and the loop is going to stop. We'll save the program and run it to confirm this. And we do get here two and three. So the while loop control structure also depends on a Boolean value. Functions can also return Boolean values. So for example, we could make a function called lucky number with def and lucky number, and we'll have a parameter called number. And if the number is equal to seven, then we're going to return true. Otherwise, we're going to return false. And we could call lucky number. We could pass it, let's say 10. So we'll have print and we'll call lucky number and we'll pass it 10. If we save the program and run it, lucky number is going to return false. If we pass the function seven and save the program and run it, now the function is going to return true. Now notably, we don't really need this if else statement here in the function. We could just return number is equal to seven because the result of this expression here is going to be a Boolean, either true or false. So if we save the program and run it, we'll again get true. Now we can use the bool function to convert a value to a Boolean value. So for example, we could have converted is equal to bool and one. And this is going to convert one to a Boolean value. We could output converted here with print converted colon, and we'll have converted. And if we save the program and run it, we'll find that one is considered true. In Python, most values are considered true. Values that are considered false include the number zero, any empty string or empty list or empty tuple or empty set or empty dictionary or empty range. And the value none is also considered false. So for example, if we had here bool and the empty string and we save the program and run it, now we'll get converted is false. But if we have a non-empty string like ABC here, and we save the program and run it, now we'll get the converted is true. And we can actually use these non-Boolean values where Boolean expressions are expected in control structures like while loops or if statements. So for example, we could have if, and let's say the string ABC. And we'll say here, print string is not empty. And if we save the program and run it, we'll get string is not empty. But if we had here the empty string and then else, we could have print string is empty. And now if we save the program and run it, we'll get string is empty. And what's happening is this evaluates to false. So that's why we get string is empty. Now when considering objects more generally in Python, by default, an object is considered true unless its class defines either a bool method that returns false or a length method that returns zero when called with the object. So for example, 
Let's make a simple class called car. And the init method for this class is going to set a member variable fuel equal to 100. Then we'll define a bool method. And this bool method is going to return true if the fuel member variable is greater than zero. Now, if we make a car object with car is equal to car open bracket close bracket, we can now use car where Boolean is expected. So we could have here if car colon, and we'll output here fuel is not empty. And because we've defined this bool method, instead of car automatically evaluating to true, what's going to happen is we're going to check if the fuel is greater than zero. If it is, this is going to be true. If it's not, this is going to be false. Let's try this. We'll save the program and run it. And now we'll get fuel is not empty. If we did set fuel to zero, we could add an else case down here. So we'll have else print fuel is empty. And if we save the program and run it, now we'll get fuel is empty. So basically, by defining this bool method, we've been able to custom define how car objects are going to evaluate to a Boolean, either true or false. So this is how we can use Booleans in Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.